There have been several wars the United States has played a part in, and two of those wars took place inside two Asian countries, Korea and Vietnam. In 1945, with the defeat of Japan during World War II, the Japanese lost control and occupation of Korea. The United Nations developed a plan for administering the governments of Korea, which had become divided at the 38th parallel. North Korea was a communist country, supported by the Soviet Union and China, and South Korea was a capitalist country, supported by the United States, Great Britain, and the United Nations. The two areas of Korea did not get along with each other at all. Even before the war, the North and South battled over the ownership of the Korean Peninsula, which once belonged to Japan. There were many attempts to bring the two together as one, but since the philosophies of each government were different, a united Korea did not seem possible. Peace was also more complicated because of the Cold War which existed between the governments of the Soviet Union and the United States. Since they could not join as one country, the two Koreas split with Syngman Rhee becoming the president of South Korea and Kim Il-sung as the prime minister or leader of North Korea. On June 25, 1950, the North began the war by invading South Korea. Initially, the UN's role in the war was to defend South Korea from harm, but the U.S. president at the time, Harry Truman, decided to play offense and wanted to free the North Koreans from communism. MacArthur led the forces in the Battle of Incheon, where they were able to regain control of the part of the country the South had previously lost, and also control the city of Seoul, South Korea. The war continued with MacArthur trying to push the North further towards the northern border, but the Chinese were not happy about this, so they entered the war as well. The fighting lasted near the border over the next couple of years, with back-and-forth retaliation and attacks from both sides. The South Korean border was eventually strengthened, and the war finally ended with the treaty encouraged by the new U.S. President, Dwight D. Eisenhower, on July 17, 1953. Not much was resolved, and things did not change. The two countries were still divided. North Korea is a communist country but both countries remain independent with a two-mile space called a buffer zone at the 38th parallel, separating the north from the south. Although the war lasted a short time, as many as 2.5 million people were killed or wounded, with about 40,000 being U.S. soldiers. Unfortunately, there were also around 2 million civilians killed during the Korean War. As of 2011, Chairman and Supreme Leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-un, continues to be a hostile force to the region and opposing governments in the world. Even now, many consider North Korea unstable. The people live in poverty and much difficulty with very little advance in technology and living conditions. In contrast, South Korea continues to advance in technology and advancing economic trade with members of the world community. The Korean War one of the shortest wars in history, was later followed by one of the longest wars in history, the Vietnam War, starting on November 1, 1955, and lasting until April 30, 1975. Communism was also a major aspect of this war, as it was during the Korean War, with northern Vietnam being led by a communist government and southern Vietnam seeking to be independent of the North. The North was supported by other communist countries, such as China and the Soviet Union, with the United States supporting the government in the South. Vietnam had once been a colony of France, but during World War II, the Japanese took control of the area. When the war ended, disagreements and conflicts eventually led to the Vietnam War. When the North began to win over the French troops, who were trying to maintain control, they decided to pull out of Vietnam in 1954. The country became divided, for nearly 10 years after, the United States did not have any troops in the war, but did support the South with aid as they did with the French. The U.S. knew the two areas would become united during an election in 1956, 
but they did not want it to become communist. So they helped a leader get elected in the South, No Din Diem. The North leader, however, Ho Chi Minh, declared an all-out war to get the North and South united as one country. In late 1961, advisors from the U.S. military began to get involved, and then in 1964, the North Vietnamese attacked two U.S. destroyers in the Gulf of Tonkin. This action led the United States to send troops into Vietnam in their first involvement with fighting against the North Vietnamese. The U.S. troops were limited to what they could do by President Lyndon Johnson between 1965 and 1969. The rugged terrain was a very difficult place to fight, to find the enemy, and to determine who actually was the enemy. There were booby traps and ambushes from people who the U.S. troops thought they were helping. In 1968, North Vietnam attacked about a hundred cities in the south on the same day during the Tet Offensive. Due to the great loss of life and a slim chance of victory in the war, now President Richard Nixon began withdrawing American troops from Vietnam in July of 1969. On July 27, 1973, a ceasefire was negotiated, and then a few months later, all of the American troops left Vietnam. Nearly two years later, the South surrendered to the North, and the new country became united as the Socialist Republic of Vietnam, a communist country. The United States was not successful in aiding the South in this conflict, and lost the war that lasted nearly 20 years, which was never expected. Plus, they also lost some of the prestige and reputation that was built up following the two world wars. In the United States, it was a very unpopular war, which sparked many protests, some involving violence against the U.S. government and against men and women who served in the military. It was also a time in which many who went to fight were drafted by a lottery system, which selected men and required them to join the military. Over 58,000 American troops died during the war with more than 300,000 wounded, and it was estimated that millions of Vietnamese civilians and troops died as well. It is also estimated that 75,000 Americans are severely wounded as a result of the Vietnam War. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.